Hello and welcome everyone to the final episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. Today, we are at long last going to take on Red. Uh, this is going to be definitely probably the hardest Nuzlocke battle I have ever had to do. Uh, I've mentioned it before. Red's ace Pokemon, which is typically a Pikachu, uh, is level 88. That is bonkers. Uh, as you can see, our highest level is 67. Um, also, we have some unfortunate business we have to take care of before we do anything else. Um, let's go here. Um, oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts! Oh boy, we have to release Rutana, Markle, and Ice. Oh, they are, it's so painful. It's so painful. Ice, Ice has been with us since episode two. We caught Ice in Sprout Tower, you guys. That's how long Ice, who has a literal cannon for an arm, has been with us. And the number of foes he has destroyed can hardly be counted. A truly reliable Magmatar with truly epic shoulder flames and a literal cannon for an arm. He took down many a foe, even in this final bout against the Elite Four, before tragically, finally being defeated. Ice, I will miss you greatly. Farewell. Oh, that sucks. That is so painful. Uh, then, of course, we have Rutana, the Guardian Pokemon. Our Lake Guardian, who we caught just, was it was before or after the 8th gym? I think it was just before. Uh, oh, we were we were down. We had lost Megan. Things were bad. Things were bad, but in came Mesprit. The first legendary Pokemon we caught on this run. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Did so much hard work. Put up a great reflect. Got hit through a reflect for death. Mesprit, I release you. I'm so sorry. You were a wonderful Pokemon. Man, that is so painful. And of course, Markle, the second Dragonite, the literal gift from God. Um, Markle, I, I mean, I wish I'd gotten to use Markle in more battles. We basically got Markle <clears throat> just after our final fight with Celery. We trained her up to be on the team to help us fight the Elite Four, and we. She, she put in tremendous work, but took a terrible downfall to a Bibberol, who apparently has an ability called Simple that makes Bibberol's uh, stat boosts double. So if it says like they got boosted once, they actually got boosted twice. That's part of what happened um, with that takedown because the Bibberol had used Curse, which meant it had a double defense boost and a double attack boost and a double speed drop. But that is what made that takedown so powerful because it also was a stab takedown with the double attack boost. Rough stuff. Markle, I was not worthy. I was not worthy. Oh, it hurts so bad. Ah, uh, Markle was released. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay. Okay. That's the hard part. Now we have an interesting decision because <clears throat> on the one hand, we could, we could go pick up three more Pokemon from the box. We could try and grind them onto the team. But at this point, these three have been through so much together. I mean, Lord Vanilla is right, fairly new and yet is also already feels like a long time team member. These three also have a certain aesthetic kind of going with them, all of which are very, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't, you know, kind of like a kind of scythe themed, if you will. I mean, you've got Lord Vanilla, obviously, with their scythe arms. Uh, and then you've got Plant, who's got um, scythe arms. And then you've got Kimberly, who uh, doesn't have scythe arms, but definitely has that sort of scythe shape on the wings. Very cool, very much my jam. You know, you all know how much I love me a scyther Pokemon, even though we lost freaking Scizor earlier. That was the worst. Oh, we've had some tragic losses this month. Like, I'm so sorry. The question is, look, these three have been through so much. 
Uh, and I, typically there is the rule in my Nuzlocke that if you can have a full team of six, you must have a full team of six. That rule exists, however, so that you can't just like, that it exists so that you cannot prolong the end of the Nuzlocke. Like you cannot prolong your eminent defeat. Meaning like if you only had six Pokemon left, you couldn't put five on the team and one in the box. So that in case all five of your Pokemon got let, wiped out, oh, it's okay, you had a safety in the box. Like that's why that rule is there. As it were, um, that's obviously not the situation we're in. We have way more than six Pokemon and the act of grinding three more Pokemon up would be arduous. And then what, in our very final battle, we have three just no names we're unfamiliar with? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, sure, there are Pokemon in there that uh, we have come to know. There is the Force. There is McLean. There is Ace. I really don't think we can use Ace. I know you're all saying we should, we, why can't we get Ace? Ace was a literal bridge between Dragonites. We lost Megan. We got Ace in the Dragon's Den, and Ace delivered us Markle. And that, I believe, was the true purpose of Ace in this Nuzlocke. And we, the purpose has been served. We cannot, we cannot, we have failed Ace in some regards. That both Dragonites died. So we can't, we can't just go grabbing, grabbing, we can't go disrespecting literal god of Pokemon like that. There are other Pokemon in there, for sure. And there's even maybe Pokemon there's, there's an argument that there could be a good Sandstorm team in there. You know, we've got Flygon, we've got Lucario, we have McLean, and the two of the Pokemon on the team right now are already Lord Vanilla and Plant. But what? who wants a final battle with three random Pokemon we've never seen before? I agree, no one wants that. Pro maybe, maybe. But this is this, to me, feels like the thing to do. It seems harder and difficult, but I think we are going to... We are going to throw caution to the wind. We are going to trust the alliances and the strength we have built. And we are going to take on red with our three remaining true blue team members, Kimberly, Lord Vanilla, and Plant, who will carry their fallen friends to victory. So without any further ado, um, we're gonna need to do some grinding. Definitely, at least a little bit. And uh, I hope you all uh, enjoy the music, and I will, uh, I will see you at the end of the grind. everyone the grind is over i will say that only going with three pokemon uh made it significantly faster uh lord vanilla in particular uh was very good at uh the grinding because definitely has like a lower experience cap so with a lucky egg just like whoop, right up i, I say whoop, it still took like a while but it felt faster it felt faster and that's what's important i'm going to silence this app before we get too far into uh, the rest of this. Uh, but in any case, here we go. Final three, we now need to make the ascent up Mount Silver. So we're not entirely in the clear yet. I got everyone up to level 80. Uh, no one has any new moves or anything of that sort. I will, uh, what I should do before I do anything else is give uh, plant the leftovers and give Lord Vanilla some leftovers, and give... Oh, not use. Um, give Kimberly the Achi Berry. All right, there we go. So, weirdly, all you really need to get up to uh, red is Rock Climb, which uh, Lord Vanilla has. So I was afraid that was gonna be a problem. Maybe we need to carry a bunch of other Pokemon with us. Oh gosh, Dialga is like, oh, you trying to go up the mountain? Don't worry, I'm still here. Prepare to glitch like crazy. All right, hey, a Lunatone. So uh, I got it to uh, everyone up to level 80. Obviously we can still fight some stuff on the way up if need be a Ninjask. 
But we don't want to like run out of moves or anything. That's our only... That's our main concern. Oh gosh, this is gonna be quiet. A pigeon! Oh no! A livid! Who's to say? Maybe we'll find like a crazy TM that ends up being the game breaker whilst we go. Okay, I went right back to where we came from. We are off to a fantastic start on the puzzle side of these things. Right? Everything's coming up aces. Here we go. All right. Oh, this is just for an item. Full restore. We'll take that. I also spent all of my remaining money on full restore. So we should be um, pretty set. We are as set as we need to be. I moved the microphone way over there. Hopefully you could hear everything I was saying. Oh, no. Gosh, I hope. I hope that didn't just totally bork everything. Am I, am I going back to the exact same? No. Okay. We finally found uh, a different root we're gonna go upstairs oh, oh a paris wouldn't it be amazing if on the way there's a paris is in mount silver that means however unlikely it we could run into a shiny paris on the way up can you even imagine the the sheer the sheer joy the sheer absolute um certainty of our victory with a suicune well i can't even tell you how many Raikou I just knocked out during the training. I was like, oh my gosh, we are. There was it was a lot. It was a lot. Another Suicune! Boy, they're just everywhere up here. This is where Suicune's been the whole game. Just chilling. Way at the top of Mount Silver, waiting for someone to come. Oh boy, I feel like we're close. I feel like we're very close now. Oh yeah. Protein looks like we need to travel a little further down. There's another entrance right there. Oh boy I am like suddenly genuinely getting nervous here um, Even though we're level 80 and even though that's significantly stronger There can be no doubt that uh, Do we need to climb up here? I don't even know There is simply no doubt that red is really strong like 80 i think is his weakest pokemon is level 80. a rare candy okay we'll use that right before the uh right before the fight i suppose gosh it is all really coming down to this though isn't it we're gonna have to go down and then go around this tree this is where everything has come up Come to this and ah man th not only are we like only barely as strong as his weakest pokemon oh what is this what a waste no we're in the wrong spot oh i see you could go over here but uh we only have three pokemon and he of course has six one of which is level 88 so it's just we're in a really, we're in a really dangerous spot. Oh gosh, Shiftry. Mm -hmm. We're gonna fly on this thing. Why not, Nasty Plot? It's just gonna, oh, we missed. How wonderful. Not exactly, we need to get those misses out. We missed twice. Just d rain death from the sky, Kimberly. Don't let the nerves get to you. You can do this. That seemed like such a long rock climb. Oh no. Oh no, are we here? We got here so fast. We got here so fast. There he is. Oh no, I'm so nervous. Okay, um, we got the rare candy, right? Uh, where'd it go? Where is the rare candy? Is it in here? There it is. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give that to uh, Kimberly for the Wimberly because Kimberly swept all of... Um, <coughs> Lance's <laughs> team solo. We can only hope for such a result this time around. Who knows? Oh my gosh. Let's take one final look at everyone's uh, stats real quick, just so you can see where everyone is. Uh, somewhat of a clown. <laughs> Maybe at one point, but not, not anymore. Kimberly is here all business all the time. We've had plenty of good times and plenty of good laughs, but this is, this is the battle. This is the, the battle, right? Oh my gosh. So here we go. That massive attack stat. Massive. Look at that. 
Boom, 259, 241, 216. So you can see just straight up in order of, uh, there you go. It goes right to, from Kim to Plant to Lord Vanilla. They are all just big physical attackers. So what we do not want to see is like a big physical wall. Like Red traditionally has a Snorlax. If he has a Snorlax, that's going to be bad news because we don't have a good answer for it. It will wall us off. Big. I guess that's more of a maybe that's more of a special defender. Um, he's got he's got it, that that could be that could be bad. If his ace is like wheezing or something, big physical wall. If his ace is like Registeel or something, big physical wall. We don't want that. Uh, what is the Pikachu? Because I believe I think he leads with the level eighty eight. Like he, I think he normally leads with the Pikachu. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Plus, we cannot forget it will be hailing. That is something we're gonna have to deal with. So, if he has a Pokemon that utilizes Blizzard, that is gonna be very bad because uh, we have two Pokemon who are very weak to ice. So hopefully that, we just have to hope. Who knows what the randomizer is gonna have. I think we are going to lead with Kimberly because we want that Intimidate. At the very least, we can count on that. Um, if for some reason he has a Pokemon that activates Sandstorm, we can activate, we can try and take advantage of Sandvale. Or if he has a Pokemon that <laughs> activates Rain, we can use Swift Swim. So really any other weather besides um, hail would be great. Sunny day, maybe not as great. Uh, we don't have any grass or fire type moves on this team. We actually have fairly limited. We have a lot of dragon uh, and we have two like two crunches. I don't know if we need that much crunch on this team. We almost learned Night Slash with Lord Vanilla while, about, while grinding. I was like, no, we don't need another dark type attack. So anyway, um, we're going to have to rely, one, on big power. Uh, we're going to have to hope there's no heavy blizzard, speedy blizzard users that are going to just wreck us <coughs> and... Yeah, it's it's going to be hard because they're all going to be stronger than us. So, but the thing is, we have Kimberly for the Wimberly and we can prevail. We can use fly to dodge things. We can use dig to dodge things. It it, it is within it is possible. It is possible. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. God, there there he is right there. We've got Kim. Kim, are you ready? Kimberly let out a roar. Oh, Kim's ready. Kim's ready for another fight. <sighs> Here we go. Three versus six. For all the keeps, you guys. Classic. He says, what if he has, oh, what if he has the Dialga? What if he has Palkia or Arceus or Mewtwo? How fitting would it be for, Mew for Red to have Mewtwo? And he's got a slacking as his ace. So that is, that's okay. Okay, because... The question is, will it be slacking off right now or will it be slacking off on the next turn? Because we can time our flies appropriately depending on who's faster and whatnot. Okay, first of all, Dragon Claw, let's just see. Okay, it has a ton of health. Flung its light ball, okay. So we should, it paralyzed us? Is that a joke? Okay, so it's gonna be slacking off this turn. So we are just gonna use the full restore to immediately get rid of the paralysis. That must be, so this is typically, now he's loafing around. He takes damage, we take damage, no big deal. Okay, so this time he's gonna try and hit us with something. That's scary. We don't know what he's gonna hit us with. Um, but what we can do, no. So this is this time we fly. And now he'll miss. Punishment, missed. Hail continues to fall. Now we should be pretty good. We're buffeted by the hail, but so is he. That's nice. We hit that. And then he's slacking off. So now we've definitely got... This is fantastic news for us because it means that... The question is now whether or not he's going to try and full restore right now. I think he won't. I was wrong. He did. That's bad. So he flows high. Hail can use a fall. Buffeted by the hail, buffeted by the hail. We use fly. Will he be slacking? Okay, he was slacking. That means this turn he'll try and hit us, right? So we fly again. This is, this. Is, the good news is we can always dodge. This is his strongest Pokemon and we can continuously dodge it. And he's just taking the damage there. So actually one more fly should do it, I think. Okay, this should do it. Use flail. Flail would have been devastating. 
Now, hopefully he doesn't go for the full restore here. He doesn't. Boom! The ace is down. The ace is down. Kimberly has done it again. There was never... Oh, he's got a guard chop. Of course he's got a guard chop. Of course. But of course he does. Now we are in a really tricky spot. Okay. Okay. Because, right, we... I want to believe, I want to believe we can dragon claw this thing to death. The problem is our health is at like half, right? So if we full restore, I think it can hit us for a lot of damage. Now, the good news is we can actually kind of, let's go. I mean, who knows what nature they're gonna have. Our speed, our speed should be significantly faster, right? So um, if we full restore, we'll go to full health. They'll hit us. We'll be able to see what the damage looks like. Then we can, if, if, then we'll hit first. But we'll just be stuck in a loop if it's too much damage. Or we could just go for the Dragon Claw and hope that we take it down. Because let's see. Um, let's see. How is their defense is 191? Well, not necessarily. They have a level 80 Garchomp. We can look at a level 80 Garchomp right here. I don't know if that's enough to survive. This is where like, I sort of wish we had like outrage or like a big dragon attack or something, but we don't. Um, if we could shuffle into an intimidate, that would be really great. I think we need to use our full restore and go there, Let's see what happens. He's gonna use Dragon Claw. And oh no! Okay, so that was yikes. We should have dragon clawed. We definitely would have knocked it out. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Okay, now we're in a really bad spot. Oh, oh, it's bad. We should have just dragon clawed. I should have had the faith. Okay, now we must dragon rush. It used dragon rush. Oh no, it's faster than us. Now we're both gonna get knocked out by hail. No, we healed a little bit. Oh gosh. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to full restore and let the hail knock them out. Except they're probably going to full restore as well, if I had to guess. Oh, it dug. Okay, so we are slower, right? Oh, gosh, we're slower. So it's going to hit us. It's going to hit us. Can we? Do we have any battle items? Oh, we can X speed. <clears throat> we can X speed and make ourselves faster. That might be good. Just moving forward. Um, we're going to take the dig hit, but then it'll die to hail. So let's go ahead and do that. Make our... Now we'll take the dig hit. It's not nice, but and we take damage and they take damage and die. And then we heal a little bit more. Dust Noir is in the house. Okay, so this isn't too bad because we have crunch and now we have a speed boost. Okay, let's go for the big crunch. Let's go big crunch. Let's go. Oh, gosh. Future sight. Oh, I don't like that. Now yeah, can use the fall, but that shouldn't matter. The future sight shouldn't continue after they die. All right, so we're going to crunch here. Next one is down. Now can use the fall. Ah, okay, fast you done. Oh, I don't like it. This is where I wish we had ice. Now, this is tough. This is tough. This is exactly what we didn't want. It's a giant, big physical wall. We're going to go for the dig because it is at least steel type. It has metal burst. It fails. Hail can use fall. It takes hail damage. Okay, can plant do it? Plant does it! Yes! Oh! Oh my gosh, I'm still. I cannot believe. I should. I'm, I'm, I'm reeling from Kimberly's death. I'm like, how, how could we possibly? But plant is persevering. He's only got two left. He's only got two left. That thing. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, but it's a steel type. This is a weird matchup. It almost definitely has levitate, right? And if, it ha if Magnazone has levitate, then we can't hit it with dig. If we can hit it with dig, we're gonna have to. We can do. It. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to look up whether or not Magnazone has uh, levitate or not. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it does, and that would be bad news. Um, let's find out. 
Okay, actually, I don't think it does. It looks like maybe it doesn't. Um, oh, boy. Um, it actually shouldn't. Okay, so we are going to go for dig. I'm sorry to look something up on the fly there. It uses magnet rise. Oh, no. Now it can levitate. Oh, that's no good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, wow, wow, it used levitate. That's what I get for looking something up. Oh, what did it drop on me? Okay. In that case, we're just gonna have to dragon rush it. We missed, oh no! Okay, this is bad. We're gonna have to try and heal again now. Man, if that dig had just connected. Buffeted by hail, buffeted by hail. The hail is helping us, I will say, because we have the leftovers. Did it say it wore off? It could just do it again. We're just going to drag and crush it. It missed! Ah, because I knew it would do it again, is the thing. I wish we had Earthquake. That'd be really great. Okay, we got to stop missing the drag and crush. There it is. Oh, it didn't, it didn't do as much as I wanted. And now he's in, like, a real position to go for, like, a full restore. Um, so we're going to go for the Dragon Claw. We'll just see how this does, because it's more accurate. It did almost nothing. Okay, that's not good. The hail is what's doing so much damage right now. We're going to have to go for the Dragon Rush right here. And we, gosh, we are missing so bad with the Dragon Rushes. Okay. Um, we need to heal again, I think. Oh, gosh, we're down to plant here. Air shot. The problem is the steel moves are going to be really effective against um, Lord Vanilla. So that's what we have to be really careful of. We have to drag and rush. Come on. We oh my gosh, we've missed so many. I cannot believe the number we've missed here. This is unbelievable. Like, it's, it hasn't used any evasion moves. Oh my gosh, this mirror shot is destroying me. It is bad. It is bad. All we can do is sit here and like heal up over and over, which is it's not it's not like a fun way to fight, you know. Buffeted by the hail. Okay, I think we're within range there. Now we can just drag the claw and the the hail should finish him off. Right? Oh no, it's so close! Okay, one more. He used the full restore, oh no! Oh my gosh, this magna zone though. It is no joke. Like, if I could time out the Magnet Rises better, we'd be doing okay. Um, boy, the Dragon Rushes, though. They're not connecting. Oh, keep missing with it. Why do we keep missing? It's not that inaccurate. We've only got one left at this point. Come on. We missed again? Am I? Is this a joke? What's going on? Is it just like that the hail lowers our accuracy or something? It must be because we're also missing on the... This is getting out of hand. Gyro ball. He must have run out of mirror shots, though, is what's happened, I think. Because he's not using them anymore. And that's helping us a lot. His health is full. Okay, so... The downside of that is that... Well, the good... No, there's not really a downside. The, just the frustrating thing is just that we can't hit it with anything. Will it die? Oh, it's still not. Just die, man. Oh, gosh. That was that was painful. That was painful. Oh, my gosh. And he has an Espeon. Is that his last Pokemon? Because we can crunch it. We should be faster, right? We missed. No. We have got to stop with the missing. Okay, come on. Plant. You can do this. Crunch. Come on. So many misses. No, it's not in me. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we live it! We live it! We live! Oh no! But no, the, the hail is gonna kill us! Oh no! Oh! Oh, it's bad. Okay, I think it's bad, but I think it's doable because I think we can Aqua Jet, right? Because if we should go fast. No, he has another full restore. Oh, yeah, I can't go play because I've used like a bazillion myself. 
Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's so close. Is this the end? Is this? It's so please. Oh no. Oh no. Live it. Lord Vanilla, you can do it. Oh, it's gonna be so strong. Oh, we, we survived. Did we get it? No! Oh, we got, we got the crit! We got the crit! We got the crit! Was that it? Was that the game? Was that the game? <gasps> no, we did it! We did it with three! Oh! We did it! Oh my gosh, we have one lone Pokemon standing. Oh my gosh, Plant and Kimberly went down in that fight. Oh, so many missed moves. The hail was destroying us. That was, oh my gosh, that was so rough. But Wow, wow. Kim and Plant and Lord Vanilla all put in tremendous work in that fight. Oh my gosh. One Pokemon standing at the end. I mean, we, I think even if we hadn't gotten the crit there, we could have used Aqua Jet for the win on the next round, but oh my goodness, we did it. That was, oh, poor Kimberly and poor Plant. All of my lovely dragons. Oh, fighting up there in the ice. Those dragon rushes could not come. I mean, it doesn't have great accuracy to begin with, but I mean, just grinding. Normally, I'd only miss like one, you know, not seven out of ten. And even then, we just weren't doing the damage. <coughs> if we could get it. There's so many throw restores. Oh, my goodness. That, that was intense. I can't believe it. I... I can't believe it with Kim. I should have just gone for the Dragon Claw. What was I thinking? That Garchomp just wrecked us. We would have wrecked it. Our attack was so high. Like, I, like we know our attack was at least as high as their attack. Oh, we should have gone for it. That was just dumb. It might've, we might have had an easier go of it. It could have been worse. The Bastiodon could have been worse. The Magna Zone. If it didn't have Magnet Rise. Oh my gosh, I thought that thing was going to get us. And then the, the Espeon at the end. Woo! Woo! But we did it! We did it! It was not a clean victory. It was not a clean Nuzlocke. It was nothing like our um, Fire Red Leaf Green, where I feel like we played really... We didn't lose very many friends at all throughout the entire journey. This time, I feel like, fo like friends were falling fast and furiously. And... We did. It has been quite a journey. It has been quite a journey. Man, I don't know what we're going to do next. I know that Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl is coming out in about 20 days or so. That could be something. Uh, I don't know if we might do some other sort of challenge, like a, like a, like a single one-off, or I know a lot of people have suggested Sword and Shield, um, and some people have wanted to see some more like uh, trading card game stuff. Uh, which I'm all of which I'm totally cool with, and I know you guys always ask us about the the Sims, the Founder series. Um, I can tell you that that's probably not going to happen right away because Ben, uh, as of recording this, Ben is at the hospital right now, uh, waiting for his baby to be born. So he's going to be out of the office for a few weeks here. Oh my gosh, the end! <sighs> we did it! We did it! Kabutops, Lord Vanilla. Ancient Scyther? Of course. In the end, it had to be. In the end, it had to be. I can't believe it was a Kabutops. I've never like used a Kabutops at all, and that was that was awesome. Really cool. Thank you guys so much, as always, for joining for this crazy ride. It has been a lot of fun. I haven't fought Red in a very long time. Man, the slacking was lucky that we could just fly around it. My goodness, that was that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun on this journey. I hope you had a lot of fun. Thank you for sticking with me through through the end. Leave a like if you haven't already. Let me know down below who is your favorite Pokemon on the team throughout the journey. Man, I don't know what we're gonna do next. Let me know what you want to see next down below as well, and I will definitely take that into consideration. I'm I'm feeling like either Brilliant Diamond or uh, Sword and Shield. Um, Sword and Shield wouldn't be a randomizer. I, I know I've seen people do that, but I, I don't know how to personally do it. Um, that could be fun, though. 
and it's the newest thing. So that's that's fun. Anyway, whatever. Again, thanks so much for for joining us on the journey. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun uh, getting to do all the Pokemon with you guys. <sighs> Until next time. Bye. Hey, before we go, just want to give a shout out to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby, Mondin, Adrian, Shishitano, Afropunk, Annalena, Ort, Brad Johnson, Brianna Bouchard, Cheyenne, Dakota Ballantyne, Dana Guest, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jacob Rosh, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Joanna Ashcroft, Karen Choi, The Very Not Lazy, Lacey Nielsen, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Madison Wolf, Mats Ferulis, Momo East, Nicole Cox, Rachel Pierce, Rashiba, Romy Osterheld, Stacy, Yale Ezer, Zane Emerson, and Z. 0412. Thank you all so much for your support on Patreon. If you would like to uh, see your name on the wall of things right here, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Thanks again. Dead spork.